Tomorrow, two victims of a horrible LaRanger murder and kidnapping will be remembered as family, friends and loved ones gather for a candlelight vigil for Callie and Aaron Brunette. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Cherise Gibson. Meanwhile, tonight we've learned new details about the crime and they were accused killer Daniel Callahan late this evening. We received a stack of documents from federal court. Emily Strahan brings us the latest, but we want to warn you these details are disturbing. New details about the murder of a LaRanger mother and her daughter paint a gruesome scene. Federal court documents show that in an interview with law enforcement, 36-year-old Daniel Callahan admitted to killing 35-year-old Callie Brunette and her four-year-old daughter, Erin. This affidavit uh, really ties down a lot of loose ends and corroborates uh, what uh, we heard was part of the confession. But the affidavit uh, certainly provides those details, which is necessary for a probable cause detention. He told police that on Wednesday, June 12th, he stabbed Callie around 30 times in her LaRanger home and said it was something he had been thinking about doing for a while. After, Callahan says he drove her two young daughters across state lines. Police used Callahan's license plate to track the route and found security footage showing Callahan stopping at a McDonald's in McComb, Mississippi, trying to change a tire. The girls can be seen in the back seat of the 2012 Chrysler, a full day before anyone knew they were missing. He then allegedly took the girls to this home on Boozier Drive in Jackson, Mississippi. During the interview, he told police he decided to kill one of the girls and keep the other alive as a, quote, sex slave. So there's a question of, the indictment that was handed down by the, the grand jury in Tangipahoa and whether the prosecution of the murder of the young child, Aaron, uh, will be in, based in Mississippi or based in Louisiana. The next day, Callahan's sister Dixie Hemphill told police she received a message from her brother saying he had done something bad and needed gas money. That afternoon, Callahan was arrested in Jackson. Neighbors told police they heard screaming in nearby woods where the older child and Aaron's body were found in a dirt pit. Amelia Strahan, WWL, Louisiana. Callahan appeared in federal court in New Orleans this morning. He was charged with kidnapping and transportation with the intent to engage in criminal sexual activity. He faces multiple other charges in Mississippi. And again, a candlelight vigil will be held for Callie and Aaron Brunette tomorrow night. That's at LaRanger High School at 730.